Hey, what's up, guys? So you decided to get Easy Drummer 2, but you have no idea how to use it because it's a little fucking annoying. So <laughs> you can start with search at the top. You're then going to click on tap to find. Okay, let's go here. So we're going to do tap to find. We're going to make this 1 16th. And you get to pick what you want to play with. So uh, closed hi-hat. Let's do... Um, Then it loops. Ah, what the heck happened there? Okay, so I did the hi-hat. Let's do the bass now. So now I'll go over to show results. It'll at least put you in the ballpark, right? So now you're at matching 67%. So let's click that. Twisty 140, don't like it. Motown, messy. Let's go up to easy drummer. Let's go to metal. Let's go to straight. Let's go to standard. Name, we're going to start with intro. No, don't like that one. Okay, let's start with that intro, right? So I'm going to pull that over. Okay, let's stop that. Let's, uh, you know, at the very least, all you want to do is just have something that you like. Find, you know, find anything that you're just like, okay, you can play around with. Okay, okay that, see, like, that sounds crazy, that end. But just know that you can always... And this is what I always do. I always grab the end and I just bring it back in. I just cut it out. Anything like that, like the crazy. All right, so I'm going to stretch that out a little bit. Let's start again. So let's bring it. You can actually see how it's actually written. All right, so we're going to take that, right-click copy, right-click paste all, put that one right there. So let's go. All right, let's go over here. Let's, let's hear this intro. Okay. Okay, well, let's stretch that one out because that... That's a little off there. Ah. So let's hear how it ends there and goes into the next one. Okay, so let's go. Okay. But then this one isn't gonna match, right? So let's stop that. We're gonna right click, remove. Right click copy, right click paste all. So now these two are gonna match. All right? So I'm gonna minimize, make this smaller. I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna right click copy, right click paste all. I'm gonna highlight those two, drag that over. Save, let me just save it now. Let's do uh, uh, YouTube one. Okay, that way I don't lose it. All right, so let's do, what else do we have? Let's do verse one. No, it's too close to it. Bridge. Oh, what is that? All right, so let's, let's play this one. All right, listen to the beat. Let's take this bridge and slide that over here and let's see what that sounds like. Okay, a little groovy right there, right? Let's make sure there's nothing crazy back here. It looks like there is. So it'll end a little nutty. Let's see. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that end is crazy. 
All right, so let's stop there. I'm gonna click there so I can zoom in and try to catch where that craziness comes starts. Okay, that right there. So I'm gonna drag that to about here. Now I'm gonna play it again. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this, right click copy, right click paste all, so the symbols and everything goes right in. So let's go from here, let's see how it goes from one to the next. Okay, it's not bad, good. So then, just for the heck of it, I'm actually gonna highlight all this, right click copy, right click paste and then all, then I'm going to highlight all this, drag that over, minimize it because I want to see what it looks like. Let's go back here. Let's do one run. Intro. All right. The hard part is going to try to write around the drums. So that's the only issue with Easy Drummer is the amount of creativity that you want to just run with isn't necessarily there. There is if you want to jump to a uh, superior drummer. Uh, uh, what's up, kid? Right there. A little groove action right there. Uh, yeah. What's up? What's up? <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's do, let's save it again. So now I basically have 65 seconds worth of drums. Now, right over here, right? You click on that, you go to track, you go to export song as WAV file, you change it to 24 bit, export, you name it, let's do YouTube. YouTube Torres, okay, whatever. Now it's exporting it, see it running. It's like, okay, done there. I save it just in case, close out of that. Let's go to Reaper. The only problem with Easy Drummer is it's literally like that's the size of the entire screen. Like it's just some small little tiny thing. So from here, I do Command T uh, for Tom. Tango, so it opens up a track for me. Uh, from here, I go insert media file. I look for YouTube Torres Wave. Now I go right here to the lower right. I do the same thing like I did before. And actually, what's going on here? Oh, okay. I just need to do it even more. Come on. Yo, uh oh, there it is, finally. Okay, so there's my. Let's go from here. Um, damn you. Alright, so this is the WAV file. Now from here, Control T, you then hit the, uh, the arm, and now from here, you would hit the record button down here. And now you get to record a track. I don't know what's recording. Ah, it is, is it my mic that's on? Yo, yo, ah, it's my mic. Oh, what's up, kid? Hold on, let me uh, go back, control Z. Hello? Hello? All right, so let's see, <laughs> let's go. Let's crank it. Okay, that way I don't doesn't look like there's any clipping. So, hello. And as long as that's going up, we're good. So let's go. I'm going to sing a song for you guys. Hello. Uh, hello, hello. The beats are fresh. The beats are fresh. Ah, son. Yeah. Okay, that, that was dumb, but let's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's play back. I'm gonna disarm it and play back. Hello. Uh, hello, hello. The beats are fresh. The beats are fresh. Awesome. Yeah. 
All right, so clearly you would go ahead and that would be guitars, and then you would just, you know, uh, Command T, you know, create a bunch of tracks and activate each one. You can activate that one, activate this one. You have, um, you can pan, this, it, they're all automatically set to pan center. You can click and go to the right, and it's 100% right, 100% left, centered. Uh, here's your volume. So you can go up, um, up and down dBs. You can pick input one. You want it stereo, mono. So it's super easy going from easy drummer two over to Reaper, but there's that learning curve of trying to figure out how to do it. Like I literally, if you follow all the steps that I just did, you'll be able to not only create your own drum track, but you'll be able to go ahead and sing on your second track just like I did. And, you know, uh, what you definitely want to do is learn how to play and play around with with Easy Drummer. And the whole thing with Easy Drummer is here's a drum track. Just know that the end here sometimes sucks because, you know, you'll have 80% of it, which is perfect. And then whoever the drummer was decided to it's like, really, dude, like, come on, bro. Like, just create like a four bar fucking normal, normal drummer. God damn it. It's the only problem with Easy Drummer is that you have all these drummers and they're all like, ah, son, you want you want me to do one of these? No, stupid. How about just fucking normal? Like, you know, hi-hat, snare, bass without a stupid roll because I then have to shave that roll off and try to figure out how to match it to the beginning of the next one because I'm going to copy and paste that same drum pattern on the back end. That's just for you guys at Easy Drummer which I forgot the name of the company. So when you hire a bunch of drummers that you record, you know, some of them are just fucking dumb. <laughs> All right, listen, everyone, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe right there. Click on it. Click on it. Don't make me punch you in the throat. All right, guys, listen, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helped. Yo, le legit, this took me months and months of being frustrated. Like, yo, I would work on dr Easy Drummer for an hour, get frustrated, turn it off. So I never managed to figure out how to go from Easy Drummer to Reaper. And then finally, when I figured out Easy Drummer, I'm like, okay, I need to figure out how to export it to Reaper. So I had to have that learning curve on saving it as a WAV file and then bringing it into Reaper and how to open it up. And yo, there's so much nonsense. Um, but I feel like you guys need, yo, know, like this is the video, this video that I'm making now is the video that I needed when I started. Like, yo, how do I make a drum track? How do I write the drums? How do I save it as a WAV file? Then ex then what do I do? How do I export it into Reaper? Do I open Reaper and then import it? So so it turns out that you just save it as a WAV file, you open up Reaper, and then you in you uh insert slash import uh, the drum track in here, and that's it. Hopefully that helps and you'll be able to write music going forward on your laptop. All right, everyone, listen, you guys are the absolute best. Thank you so much for watching. Again, subscribe if you haven't. And as usual, I'll talk to you guys soon.